Hey guys, Zach Sweet here. This is what I'm working on today. I have to bush cut this field. And it's long. Check this out. Last night it was a super moon. I don't know if you guys can still see that up in the sky, but the moon is really, really big. But anyway, this whole field, I gotta cut this and uh there's a little little bit over there i got to cut two on the other side of the parking lot somewhere in the middle here because i've cut this field before there's a big hole so i'm just looking for that right now so i can mark it it's a pretty big hole i don't want to start working without figuring out exactly where it is so There it is. See, check that out. So if I was driving along with that tractor and one of my tires went in that, that would be really bad. Oh, I just wiped out myself. Hey, look how deep that is. That's a big, big hole. I'm gonna mark this. I'm going to mark that hole and get started. Alright, I'm just waiting for the tractor to heat up because it's real cold in here. Windows are all fogged up and you can't see anything so I'm not going to be able to work and I'm definitely not getting out and wiping them down. And so I'm just going to take my time getting started and warm up a bit. So sun's coming out sun's coming out so I'll be getting going here soon so guys make sure you check out my video I'll link in the description below because I, I kind of show uh, how to operate a Kubota tractor this the very basics on how to turn it on and what to do and just give some tips and tricks here I I went and I bush cut a whole field and I kind of went step by step on what I do. So I'll leave that in the description below. Go check that out. If she's not ready to go in another minute, I'm going to just wipe them down with my sweater and deal with it and get to work because it's already uh, it's already 7 o'clock or quarter past 7 and I'd love to just get going here. I'm going to split the property or this area in half because that area is real dippy and loopy. So I'm going to knock this area out first, the easier part. That way I can turn around, I'm not mucking through tall grass. I'll knock this out, I'll have a lot easier time to access this area. finally figured it out see that before it was it wasn't cutting the grass clean it was sort of just flattening it look at it now nice clean cut I had to fiddle with it a little bit I was going a bit slower now that I figured it out it's gonna be smooth sailing from here look at that so I'm just giving myself a, a nice strip here at the back of the fence so it'll be easy for me to uh, turn around. When you, uh, when you turn around with these tractors, it's almost like having a trailer behind you because that brush cutter comes out quite a, quite a bit. So because there's this fence here, if I just crank the wheel and tried to turn the tractor around, I might end up hitting the fence. So I'm giving myself a nice, uh, a nice wide area right here. So if I tried to if I tried to turn right now, the brush cutter wouldn't, wouldn't hit the fence because it's going to swing out that way to the right when I try to turn, but I'm, I'm not going to hit the fence anymore because I have all that cut. I'll show you what I mean. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn right now. You'll see I have tons of clearance. 
See that? Tons of room. So yeah, that's why I did that. It's always good to make the job easier for yourself, even if you're gonna take a couple extra minutes doing it. Oh boys! That's what the finished product looks like. Almost two hours right on the nose to cut that. So we'll see. Hopefully the other one takes the other one's bigger, but let's hope it takes two hours as well. Be nice. If that took two hours, I'd be real happy. But we'll see, we'll see. We don't know until we get there. So we start moving. Looks like that's already gotten a lot of the day sun. Maybe it's dried up. You know, when I started mowing this, it was still real wet. I mean, the sun wasn't even out yet, so hopefully over there, a little drier, a little less small. Check this out. I almost ran this over. If I wouldn't have lifted the bucket up like that, I lifted the bucket up so I could see the ground better. If the bucket would have been, you know, in front of the, the lights here where I normally keep it, I wouldn't have been able to see the ground as well. And I would have ran that pipe over. Look how thick that is, dude. That's a thick pipe. But that's why you take it slow the first pass. You don't rush things. That would have been really bad. Glad I was paying attention because this thing would have done some damage. Holy smokes. I don't even want to think about what it would have done. And look, other stuff like this, there's that everywhere, all over this field. So you just got to be careful. You got to be super careful. just happened. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. construction going on over there and this fence has been here forever clearly there's no way that that was put there by the like that was thrown over the fence someone threw that over the fence because they're too lazy to go throw it out themselves so they're all oh, someone else will take care of it I just ran it over, almost dummied the machine. It was it was real buried too. I didn't see it at all. Like I told you guys, I I lifted this bucket so I could get a better idea. I didn't see it one bit, and that, I mean that's a big that's a big. I don't know how I missed it. If you run over something like that, first thing you do, put in the clutch. You just slam it in or else 
your blades will keep going and it'll try its best to cut up whatever's in there but I mean it's not gonna cut through something like that it's just gonna jam up and so I slammed in the clutch turn off the blades put it in neutral tried to figure out what was going on oh man lifted up the deck too you got to be careful when you get under the deck or the bucket or you can't trust the hydraulics they'll just drop on you so you got to be really careful but two close calls already I don't want to go by a third and and miss something else so I'm gonna walk the property again because clearly this morning I didn't do a good enough job check this out didn't see that this morning either it comes all the way out to here big chunks of asphalt look at that you don't want to be running over that. A couple more passes and I think I'll be halfway through. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like again. Yeah, that's the finished product. So what I'll come back either tomorrow or the next day to do is, is this kind of stuff. Just go and I'll trim that kind of stuff. Yeah, I didn't want to get too close to this curb because if I break that, it's you know it's not cheap. So also I'll come back. I'll clean along the fence. But other than that, if you guys can remember what it looked like before, this looks a lot better. Way, way better. So there we go. Let me guys know what you think of the job.